You can see the effects that the drought has had on this myporum. It's an invasive species, I believe, from New Zealand. But uh, we've had quite a hectic drought in recent years, and you can see how there's been kind of top kill all the way at the, t uh, at the top there. But if we compare that to the indigenous thicket species, okay, that's uh, Acacia saligna over there, so that's not indigenous, but it's one of the dune things that does well in arid environments. But everything else uh, is looking great. If you look here at the Sidrox and Anermi milkwood, there's no no evidence of any kind of dieback or anything. Here's a here's a proper thicket clump, and you really struggle to see any evidence of the drought. Now we've got Scotia afra over here. We've got uh, Euclea racemosa, and it's quite a thing. I mean, you can see this canopy is all still looking very much intact, and that myoporum there is looking really uh, completely struggling because of the drought. And this isn't the first lot I've seen. Um, it's, I've been thinking about it as I've been walking along this trail. Uh, all of them look like that. And um, yeah, it's, it's certainly not frost. We're too low uh, to be getting frost from right by the ocean here. And uh, so the only thing that could be is, uh, could be drought, there's the ocean over there. Um, yeah, so just an interesting observation that this uh, invasive species does really well during the wet years, but then uh, struggles when we get long-term droughts. And uh, if you ever find this in these kind of landscapes, please remove them, along with uh, Acacia saligna. Uh, Acacia cyclops, these are Acacia cyclops. I don't know if I said Seligna earlier. Okay, just interesting observations. Some money shots of these beautiful aloes.